MMA Weekly here with Paul Daly. Paul, coming off a, a pretty impressive Octagon debut. How did it feel to get in the UFC and uh, show your skills out there? It's, pretty, it's a bit surreal, really, to be honest with you. I don't think it's sunk in. You know, I went out there, I thought, came back and watched the fights in the dressing room, and it felt like I was back home, just watching the UFC as normal, thinking, hey, shit, I've just been in, I've just been in there. You know, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty surreal. Leading up to this fight, uh, you said you didn't feel a lot of jitters, <coughs> a lot of nervousness because of your experience. You've been around for a while. How did it feel when you actually went out there coming so through calm. the crowd? Really calm. I've been a yeah. lot more nervous on other shows. I was really calm. You know, I think the reception from uh, the, the fans is a lot different than I've experienced before. And I think that did well to settle me. And that it was so, uh, you know, everyone wanted to touch you and everyone's cheering you on. And, uh, yeah, I think it played a big part of me feeling so calm. Now, let's get on to the fight just a little bit. Uh, it, it didn't look like you were ever in a position where you didn't feel in control. Would, would that be accurate? Yeah, you know, uh, coming into the fight, we knew that Martin, uh, he likes to trade to start, to start with before getting the clip to go for his takedown. And in doing that, he does get hit a lot, if you, if you look back at all, all of his fights. So uh, I was hoping it would go that way. I was, I was confident if, if I just stayed in the pocket and threw a one, two, three, or two, that I'd be hitting him with something and that he'd feel my power, you know. And I've said in previous interviews, everyone says, yeah, I want to stand with Stamitex, I'll stand with him. And then I, I hit you once, and then you're like, hey, shit, maybe. I shouldn't stand with you. And I hit you again and you're, you know, you're trying to get out of there. So, um, yeah, I was confident in, in all areas. He got me in the clinch uh, for a little while. I, I felt that I was stronger than him there. And, and I held my own to escape that position. So, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Now, he's, his camps after the fight seems to be making a little bit of a noise about the stoppage. How do you feel about the stoppage? You, from what you saw in the ring, did it look like he was done? It was a fair stoppage. I, I don't know what, what, what they're complaining about. I knocked him out, hit him, woke him up, knocked him out again, hit him, woke him up, at which point he's being stepped in. So, you know, you cannot stay, stay, in, stay in the octagon, get knocked out and woken up and expect you know, for the fight to continue. So. So overall, how would you assess your debut in the UFC? Um, it went the way I thought it goes. To be honest with you, with you without sounding cocky, I knew I was very confident that I was going to knock him out and uh, TKO, okay, or whatever you want to call that. What, uh, what would you like to do next uh, uh, whatever for a next you, step? Do you feel like charging right up for that title, or do you think he needs uh, maybe a really couple know. more top guys there? Maybe fight Swick, maybe some of those guys? I really don't know what the UFC is going to do, do with me. When they saw me, I thought they'd use me exclusively for the UK shows. You know, they put me out here and put me on a, a huge card. Uh, I've accepted the fight and bumped up to the main card and you know, got a victory. So I'm wondering what, if they know what they're going to do with me now, whether to put me back on the British cards you know, as a draw there or to keep me out here and fight some of the contenders. I'm just not sure of All right. Well, it uh, was a great performance tonight and uh, we appreciate you talking Thank to you us MMA much. Weekly, Paul. We look forward to more in the Octagon. Thank you, guys.